You know who knows what they're doing? The Cleveland Browns, they know what they're doing by locking up Denzel Ward for five years at $100.5 million, making him the highest paid cornerback in the NFL. He passes Jalen Ramsey. He passes Xavier Howard. This man now is the highest paid corner in the NFL, two-time pro bowler, number four overall pick for the Cleveland Browns. He is he's special, man. He is special. You know what I liked about this deal the most is we didn't hear about it. There was no Denzel Ward holding out for for money. There was no there was no drama attached to this to this deal. It was just okay out of nowhere. Denzel Ward, highest paid cornerback in the NFL. There was no nonsense with it. Xavier Howard, his came with nonsense. Jalen Ramsey, his came with nonsense. Denzel Ward did not come with any shenanigans. You should be ashamed. You came in this Why? show talking about how you were researched, prepared to bring it, and that's what you open with? It's not even so much about what you said about the Denzel Ward no nonsense, but the way Xavier Howard went about his business was actually quite professional. Yeah, he spoke up. Tired players just sitting back and not speaking their mind, and he did it very respectfully. Stated, stated facts, stated that he had a conversation. He didn't say, I'm holding out. He didn't say, I'm not going to play for you. He didn't say, this is BS. He, he was very professional about it. Jalen Ramsey was tired of being on a trash team for a trash it, coach who didn't respect players or people as they were in that organization. See, see, now you're, you're trying to spin what I said into, into something wrong here. I didn't say that it was all bad shenanigans. There were just a nonsense. lot of shenanigans. There were just a lot of nonsense. shenanigans. There's not a lot, a lot of nonsense good nonsense and shenanigans. I, I live my life in nonsense. It doesn't mean it's terrible nonsense all the time. It's not bad <laughs> nonsense. Sometimes nonsense can be good. I just felt like this situation, <sighs> there was nothing attached to Denzel Ward. I didn't even know what was like. It came out. I was like, oh, that, that, that's cool. Like that. That's cool. But but it, it happened. And, and let, it, let's it yeah, but other than. Seem. So so I, it, the way you said it, though, makes it seem like you were blaming those other players. Why not just give some credit to the Cleveland organization for saying we have a guy who's getting ready to go into a, his final year of his contract with the fifth year option and say, you know what? This guy's one of the best corners in football. We're going to pay you. And you know what we're going to pay you as the top corner in football. Why? Because we believe you're one of the top corners in football and you have next up. I don't think this is a this should be an indictment on how Jalen Ramsey got paid or how Xavier yeah. Howard got paid. Okay. The fact of the matter is <laughs> they got paid because those organizations okay. were playing games. And this Cleveland is not, is this not. Has not gone the way I wanted it to go. This is not gone <laughs> the way I wanted you it to You should have done okay. more research and you shouldn't have brought no, that up. What I said was Smack fair. What I said was fair. <laughs> there, was no, no, there was no shenanigans attached to this. Whether it be good shenanigans, bad shenanigans, there was nothing attached to this Denzel Ward well, thing. What I did does not see that any reports do with... about Denzel Ward the past two months about a contract what does that have to do with Jalen Ramsey and Xavier Howard? Why do you bring those guys up? It was just what a are, note. It was just you can't fun, come in here slamming the top corners in football and then try to play it off like you weren't because you did. You were throwing those guys under the bus. And the fact of the matter is, is this should be not, praise to I Denzel love, Ward. I love Jalen Ramsey. Cleveland. I love Jalen Ramsey. I mm. enjoy Xavier and Howard's work, <laughs> but I just wanted to note that there was no talk of Denzel Ward's contract extension until today in my eyes. So let's let, let's that's, let's that's how that. okay, wait, wait, no, wait, that's how most contracts are done. Time out. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But <laughs> so why do you bring it up? Let's, why do you bring up these outliers? I'm not. I'm done. I'm done bringing it up. Thanks. Let's move on here. <laughs> Denzel Ward got paid. Is he the best cornerback in the NFL? Did he deserve all that money? What were your thoughts on the actual deal itself that Denzel Ward got by the Cleveland Browns? Aaron, I'll start with you. Thank you for the triple barreled question. I'll answer in order so we loaded. make sure we get all Absolutely the answers. Questions. Locked in, um, loaded. Is he triple the best barrel. corner in football? No, he's not the best corner in football. Did he deserve the money he got paid? Yes, because that's the market the NFL pays. If you're the next guy and you're one of the top elite corners, you're going to get the most money. I'm perfectly okay with the deal. Um, and the impact on this is it just goes to show a cornerstone of what Cleveland is now doing. Building offensive line, building quarterback, building edge rusher. Obviously, you have that in, in Miles Garrett, and now you have somebody on the outside to lock it down. We talk about the top positions in the NFL that are being paid. It's the offensive tackle, it's the quarterback, it's the receiver, and it's a DB. And that's what the Cleveland Browns are doing here. Um, they, you know, they they went and got an Amari Cooper, and now they've locked up one of the better corners in football. Good for Cleveland. This is 
all the crap that I talked about Cleveland last year. This is it. This is the this is the move I told you it was one, they were one thing away, and that was Baker Mayfield was their quarterback, and that he would hold them back. Deshaun Watson on the football field makes the Cleveland Browns a Super Bowl contender, and I I'm I'm okay saying that. Hopefully, he gets to play the entire season um, after they work out the you know suspension stuff or whatever. But as of right now, if if Deshaun Watson's healthy, under center for the Cleveland Browns, they are a Super Bowl threat. 